abandoned the fields, there are archives of, of a sort. I bet you there are. The dead end when you come down Old Meadow Road. There's nothing here to see. Modern houses, not even old houses like you had at the other place. Turn off the swap and 
Prior and Upware. Upware is where the lock was. And the barges. I'm just keeping on the main road now. I haven't turned off. I haven't turned off to swap them. reception taking place there this afternoon. Happily married. And Reach was of course the other village I went to. on the main road you've got the windmill and the big water tower. Very common round here the water towers are. So they had a tornado go over parts of Cambridge yesterday. One ended up in Lincolnshire lifting a lorry up in the air. And those big lorries that inside it, having a cup of tea. There's a church ahead of me. There's a great big point on the top. Now I don't know if that's very well.
like carrying on while we still can. There's some over here. I don't know if I've done them or not. I think I did these. But they're not clear anyway. They don't look clear.
Where are we now? Yeah, this is Fordham Graveyard. You've got John King, who died 1885, he's 59, and Mary Ann, who died 1891, he's 61, and Harry Prayer, their son, who died 1877, is 21. Then there's a great big monument to somebody, a Fison, Martha Ann, daughter of Richard Fison, born 1849, died 1887. It's a great big Celtic cross of big grey marble stone set up high. Richard Fison died 1851, aged 55, and Martha his wife died 1915, aged 100. So these Fisons, we've got Fison somewhere, well it's Fisers I think. George Allen died 1870, 72. Jane Saunders died 1892. No, he didn't. His wife did, Susan, in her 69th year. And then there's one of those globular pink marble ones with a Celtic cross of Charles Livermore, who died 1886, he's 48. And his wife Emily, who died in 1901, aged 66. And you've got um, another Fison there, a Robert Roper, son of Henry Roper of Luckford, who died 1894, aged 75, and then his wife, daughter of George, Tosia Fletcher, who died 1903, aged 76. They're quite good in here. Remember, it's of Sarah, wife of John Fleet. She was 63 when she died in 1888. Another Fletcher, Robert Knight Fletcher, died in 1886, he's 63, and his son James died in 1893, he's 21. And there's a Dennis, a couple of Dennis graves. Thomas Seaver. He died in 1857, aged 50, of age 46, and Mary Ann Seaver, his sister. Philip Smith, who died 1855, aged 69. Another Seaver there. James Seaver, in 1832, aged 37, of 57. Mary, wife of James, Seba, daughter of Robert and Mary Fison, who died in 1898. Another Fison grave there. We've got another grey, grey marbly one. Um, quite high. Henry Molden Staples, born 4th of June 1831, died 21st of January 1892. Then you've got Thomas Chapman Chapman, who died June 1876, he's 62. And there's another big tomb-like one of Joseph Seaver, who died 1874, he's 59, and Emma, who died 1892, he's 59. And Seaver seems to be a popular name. Here. Mary Ann Worth. 
I wouldn't have thought that there is another door here, but it's not got a port. So I don't very much if you can get in. I actually do that. Um, I, I go to Snell's. Well, I'll put that on another cassette, though. Um, so basically, although I said I, at the start I was going to do Anglesey Abbey, I did go and visit Anglesey Abbey, and I spent several hours there. Went in the house, went round the grounds, everything, but um, and in the mill. But I didn't tape any anything. I think I, I was always a little bit inhibited because there's a lot of people around talking to myself into a tape recorder. Um, but I did describe earlier that I wasn't that impressed. Although it was good in its own right, there wasn't a great deal of history there further back in time. Um, but, you know, there was nice gardens and walks and statues around and that sort of thing. Typical 18th century architecture. Um, right, so that's that for now. Over and out.